Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and I'm very, very excited to say that this is the April Bambox Horror Box, which means Bambox folks are caught up on regular boxes, pretty much. Um, at least for me, they are. I know they've been sending the boxes out in batches, so they might not be 100% caught up as far as getting it out of their facility, but they at least started getting it out. I am totally caught up on what I need. I know they're still a little bit behind on some expansion packs, but I think that's... You know, that's just the nature of the beast. But awesome work, Adam, and all the people at Bambox for getting stuff rolling. And you guys worked really hard. Uh, I feel like the the shift to Texas was, for how hectic I'm sure it was, was pretty seamless in a sense. Because when you got it behind as much as you did, which was really only like a month, maybe a little, a little bit more than like a month behind, not that bad, honestly. And there are boxes out there. I can think of one offhand that got behind and is still behind and has been behind for a long time. So, good job, you guys. Bambox Horror Box. I'm excited. I think I only remember, like, one of the properties that's supposed to be in here. Um, yeah, I think I can only really remember, like, one of them. Cut this sucker open. Man, my cat's not going to know what to do uh, with all the boxes coming so close together recently. Just have so much new tissue paper. Ugh. One and two, the tissue papers. All right, so feels like we might have a large, it's like a glaive or something on top. Prop replica. Here we go. It's exactly, I think that's what it is. It's a glaive. Some like crawl or something? Is this like a crawl glaive or I don't know. I've not seen this before. This is interesting. It's relatively heavy. It uh, feels like it might be like ceramic, like plastic, something. Because it's not like real heavy on the sides. It's more heavy in, on the inside. There's a tooth in it. As you can see, it's kind of like a like a throne star thing. Is this from Crawl? Which isn't really a horror movie as far as I know, but I haven't seen the whole thing. But there you go. You can see a tooth embedded in there. Yeah. It's not actually sharp. It just it looks kind of sharp. I mean, if you really, like, jammed it into someone, you definitely could hurt them, but that is interesting. I'm going to have to see what it is on the spoiler card, because I just, I don't really know what that is. It's not bad. Like, the quality's good. I just, I don't know what that thing is. Okay, so it feels like that might be the only prop replica. Like I said, for the original, uh, go check it out for the April original one. Uh, they had done a survey and asked, do you want one higher quality rep prop replica, or do you want two prop replicas? replicas, why am I having a problem with that, uh, that are, aren't worth as much or as nice, but still nice. And overwhelming majority said one, so I was excited about that because that's what I wanted. The pin. Love the pins. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is, yep. Okay. Nice. This is a nice pin. I like this pin. They're usually really awesome with their pins, and this is no exception. This is from Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Uh, for anyone out there who has not seen Season of the Witch, you should, but also know that there's no Michael Myers. It's not connected to all the other Michael Myers-related Halloween stuff. It is in that series, and originally John Carpenter actually wanted to just take the series in a different direction and kind of do something new and different having to do with Halloween each um, installment. But Season of the Witch didn't play as well back then. It's actually become a cult classic since. Um, but they had to go right back to Michael Myers. So this <laughs> the Season of the Witch, Halloween 3, is the only one that departed. And uh, this is one of the um, masks that they had in it. Uh, there were like these masks that would kind of possess people in a sense. Uh, done by Silver Shamrock, I think was the name of the company. And that, this is cool. I like it. And I like how it looks like it's kind of like melting. Very nicely made. Good design. like it a lot. I'm down. What is this thing? I don't... Okay. Like, I don't know what this is from. Okay, so it's a milk carton box, basically. I mean, I could put it together, kind of. You see, and then you'd be able to fold it down and, like, make it into, like, a full-on carton. It's got a missing on there. Is that from Lost Boys? Is that what that's from? I don't care if it's, it's Carnation. So, it's even got, like stuff on the side. Yeah, it's got like protein, carbohydrates, like everything. It's This is very detailed for some cardboard. 
Santa Clara County. That's got to be. See, that has to be uh, Lost Boys. Is it? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. That's interesting. That's interesting. That would be a good dis display piece. All right. The art prints. Fan art done by Ken Hazer or Heiser. Uh, this is a one out of three, I guess. I guess they're going to start. Yeah, I remember they were going to do a run of like three in a series. Um, oh, this is cool, man. Ooh. Number 859 of 1500. And it has, let me show you first. I'll take that in. There's enough light on it. There we go. The lighting looks better that way. As you can see, it's a it's a mishmash of a bunch of awesome horror stuff. It has some um, damn it, why critters? I was blanking it for a minute. It has some critters in there. It's got Chucky from Child's Play. It's got Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's got Jason Voorhees from Friday the Thirteenth, and it's got uh, Candyman from Candyman. Um, that's cool. That's very nice. And if they're doing a series of three of these. Man, it's going to have, like, so many horror icons on there, I can tell. Oh, that's so awesome. It looks really good, too. The drawing's really nice. Oh, I didn't see a portion of an alien, a xenomorph from Alien, right there. So I'm assuming the, the next print will be the other half of that alien. So then you'll be able to put all three of them together and it'll form one big picture. That's cool. I like that a lot. That's a really nice print. Probably one of my favorite prints that they put in the, the horror box, at least. All right, next thing is, I think, the last. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a big deal, actually, kind of. Um, hand signed by Adam Green, who wrote and directed Hatchet and Victor Crowley movies. So they had three Hatchet movies, which Adam Green did all of them. And then they also had um, the Victor Crowley movie, which just recently came out. And that is what it is. It's a signed mini poster for the Victor Crowley movie, which I've not seen yet, signed by Adam Green. Um, that's cool. Full disclosure, I'm actually not a big fan of him. I appreciate what Adam Green did. I appreciate him, and I appreciate that he was doing like a straight-up slasher film. And I appreciate what it was supposed to be. It's just not, I don't really like it all that much. Um, but I have a buddy who was like all about it, like loved it, loved it, loved it, all the movies. And I could see where you would, so I'm fine with that. This is actually a pretty big get, in my opinion, as far as um, autographs go. Um, that's impressive. That's good. Uh, and it looks good. That Victor Crowley. That looks nice. Good job. Man, good job, fan box. That's a good box. All right, so that was it in the box. Yeah, nice. All right. Um, yeah, so they have, like, a thing announcing that they're in Texas now. I don't know if people wanted to put that up. You can pause it and read if you wanted to or go over what they had. Oh, okay. So for the signed items, they could have had, you could have had a mini poster from Hatchet that was signed, or you could have had the Victor Crowley one, which we had, or an actual, like, hatchet. Look at this. You see that? Like an actual signed hatchet up there. That is crazy slash cool. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, then they had the exclusive print yes and all three will make one entire print it says on there there's only one of those so that that's probably the best thing to do if you're if you're doing like a series of three you should definitely make not have variants just make them all the same i agree with that uh, missing laddie thompson carnation milk carton prop replica uh is from the lost boys okay i was right on that thank goodness i was gonna lose some of my horror cred if i didn't know that one i feel like and then when it's all folded up, like, that's what it looks like. That's legit. That's creative. That's cool. That's interesting. It's a good job. Um, oh, Jeepers Creepers. That's what that other one is. This one. Because there's not a picture of it on here. I'll just re-show you. That's from Jeepers Creepers. Okay. I've got to be honest. I don't even know if I've seen an entire Jeepers Creepers movie at all. Uh, legit. Like, I've, I've only seen... Um, I've seen a good amount of the first one, at least more than half of it, like at least, you know, two thirds of the movie, I'd say, but I don't think I've seen any of two. I definitely haven't seen three. So I just never got around to it. I eventually will. I'll watch all of one, two and three most likely. So that's why I didn't know what that is, but that's fine. Um, but they don't have a picture of it in here. 
and then the three pins. I got the most common pin, which is fine with me. All the pins look cool, and they're all done in the same style. And those are the three different masks that they have in the movie, Season of the Witch. Uh, obviously, there's the pumpkin, the skeleton, the witch. The pumpkin is the common. The skeleton is uh, only 250 made, and the witch, 99 made of that. All looking really good. And then their giveaway item, they had a Danielle Harris signed licensed Halloween prop replica knife. So whoever got that, probably pretty psyched. Pretty awesome. Yes. All right. Um, I like this. Like I said, um, I'm I'm not huge on the prop replicas, but like they were good. Like outside, real outside the box. No pun intended. Um, cool, cool made prop replicas. I might give those away to people just because they're not my thing. Um, obviously, this pin. This pin's really cool. Totally down with that. Autograph, like I said, not my thing. Not a huge fan of the Hatchet or Victor Crowley, but this is a big get, I feel like. Adam Green, I really respect what he does. He's very important in the horror community, and I feel like that's a, that's a good get as far as autographs go. And this print, this print is my favorite thing in the box. It is super, super awesome. It gets me really, really psyched to get uh, the second and the third installment of this and then be able to put all three of them together on my wall. That's pretty exciting. I mean, I gotta think Freddy's gotta be one of the main set pieces of probably the second one, maybe the third one. Then Mar Michael Myers will be one of the other ones. So you have, you know, Jason on one of them, Freddy on one of them, and Michael Myers on another one. So those are the, like the big three from that from their time period for horror. Um, can't wait to see what else is on there. Phantasm, please, please. Can the Tall Man be on one of those? That would be amazing. I'm a huge fan. Also, Pinhead's got to be in there somewhere. Those are the two that I really want. So, Ken Hazer, Heiser, if you watch this, dude, Pinhead, please, Tall Man, please, please, please. There's not a whole lot of Phantasm stuff out there, honestly, and there really should be more. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for checking this out. Thank you, Bambox, for doing what you do and getting things back on track. Oh, also, I did want to say that my box came a lot faster than the original box. The original one, it took like six days or something. This one took three. So they have the time. So maybe they're getting things like really together at the postal service there. So things are looking up. Things are looking good. Box is looking good. Thank you so much, everyone. Until next time, keep it brutal.